Hi, have you ever tried to drink Monster from a straw? It is very unnatural. Okay, hello guys. So today I wanted to take the time and to talk about my tattoos. And I'll kind of give you like a little bit of a background story, how I ended up getting it, all that kind of stuff. Sorry if you hear some outside noises. I'm filming like in front of the window so that way I get good lighting. Um, because honestly the lighting in my house really really sucks so I'm gonna do this in the order that I got them or as much as I can remember like the order that I got them so the first one that I got is this one which is my Adam tattoo if you can see it um, I got that literally on my 18th birthday I wanted a tattoo so bad from the time I was like 14 15 the I like the day that I turned 18, I was like, I don't care where I go, I'm getting a tattoo. And I did. Um, the guy was like a really like old, like muscular, like biker looking guy. And he was fine. He wasn't necessarily rude. But um, towards the end, I think he started getting really irritated with me. And I'm not really sure why. But so you can see how big this is so he said to me you cannot get your tattoo any smaller and i actually wanted the name to be the other side like towards me so when i look at it i could read it like if i look at it right now it's upside down but he told me that he refused to tattoo somebody upside down because to him he's not going to have people walking around with upside down tattoos which I guess, um, to me though, like, it was, for me, all my tattoos are for me. I'm not getting tattoos for other people. So, to me, when I got this like this, that means when I show somebody like that, it's going to be legible for them. But when I look at it like this, it's upside down. And that really bothers me because honestly, like, I wanted it for me to remind me of that person I don't really care for other people to read it so but I was 18 I was really naive and like I was just like oh okay I guess that's just how it is and I wanted it a lot smaller he said that you could not get a smaller font which is such a lie I really should have just been like, well, this is not what I'm really looking for. Thank you for your time, but I'm, I think I'm going to go to someone else who can do more of what I want. Which I should have done that, but me being 18 and it was my birthday and I was just like, I'm getting it today. So I just kind of like dealt with it. The next one that I had gotten is the one that's on my back. Um, that was also like a same day type thing where I was literally like, we're getting something today. So the story is for that one, um, I used to work at Applebee's and there was a girl that I worked with that we were really cool. We will always like joke together and like we were really good friends and we really wanted to do something together. So she was telling me non-stop that she wanted a new tattoo. I only had the one so far and of course I wanted another tattoo. So eventually we decided, okay, tonight when we get off of work, we are going to go get tattoos together. Sorry for doing this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we went together. We found some like random place that wasn't even close to the house. Um, well, our houses anyways. Um, but like literally it was like an hour drive. We drove there. We honestly, I look back and I'm like, wow, I was such an asshole. We got there right before they closed and we were like, yeah, we want tattoos. And um, at first I wanted something else. I don't remember what, but he was like, well, if you want something with that much detail, it's going to take me a while to draw it up. I don't think I'm going to be able to tattoo you tonight. And I was like, well, you know what? It's fine. I have a bunch of ideas for tattoos. I'm going to just choose one of my other ideas. So I chose like a really like simple uh, symbol, which is I got it more for a good luck charm. Oh my god, the cars are annoying today. Rude! 
Really. I got that my back tattoo as a way of like having a permanent um kind of good luck thing on me and I mean since I got it I've had some bad luck some good luck but generally I feel like it's just bringing me good luck um I don't know it was just my it's just my like way of thinking or like this attracts good stuff anyways so that was why I got it why I chose it and so the guy does my friend first she does he does her tattoo and then hers was really quick it was on the ankle it was like a symbol from a game and then he went and he does mine which mine was a lot bigger and so it was my friend and then my other friend so there was uh three of us in the tattoo shop and they were both like just sitting there watching him tattoo me he puts on the stencil i ask my friends oh it looks good whatever okay um and then he starts tattooing it and it looks good we leave which it was a whole fucking thing when we left because the tattoo place had no parking and we ended up parking in the dunkin donuts across the street and normally dunkin donuts even if they're closed whatever like if your car's in the parking lot you can obviously leave but i did not know like i think we left at like 11 ish i don't know um but when we left uh the whole parking lot was like closed off with a chain so i couldn't even get my car out which we ended up having to take an uber home for an hour and it was very expensive and then we also had to take an uber back there in the morning so i can go get my car which the dunkin donuts i think opened at like five or six in the morning and i was like i don't care how early it is i need my car so it ended up being just a mess and then also on top of that on top of the guy just being annoyed with us on top of my car being stuck there I once my tattoo healed and I actually looked at it um, because the way it is it has like the thing and then the two moons my two moons are not even even if you look at the tops of the moons like one is slightly higher than the other which sucks so bad a year or two or whatever later um, my mom wanted to get herself a orchid tattoo because she wanted to cover up like an old tattoo that she got when she was 18 and like she was really embarrassed of it and it was really small but it still was embarrassing for her. It was like on her, um, whatever you call that, like the back of her shoulder. Um, but she just hated it and every time she wore like a tank top or anything strapless, um, she was just really embarrassed by it um, and she really wanted to cover it up so um, at the time she was living in Massachusetts because she moved for her job um, and so when she went to go get her tattoo she offered for me to go with her like to go visit her she paid for my gas to go there she uh, ended up buying me a matching tattoo especially because the guy was charging so like cheaply for his tattoo which is so crazy because he does such amazing work um i don't know how his tattoos are that cheap but he does really really amazing work and i would highly highly recommend him um honestly i don't remember his name but i know it was black sheep tattoos or tattoo parlor or whatever in um in lowell massachusetts I think that's how you say it l-o-w-e-l-l -L -L. um and it was black sheep like b-l-a-q sheep i believe if you wanted to look him up um but so he did this whole tattoo i'm not sure how to show you but this one that's all up on my arm it goes from here to here um and it's honestly so beautiful and i just sat there and i took it like a champ it really didn't hurt that much um I know I'm kind of like a chunkier girl so I don't know if it didn't hurt at all just because I have mostly like fat there <laughs> but um it really didn't hurt much at all and he did amazing work it was a really good um 
like experience so me and my mom have matching tattoos uh hers is so mine is like the reddish kind of color with like these like straggly squiggly things um hers is more like nice and curved and more girlier and her tat her flowers are pink or purple i honestly don't remember i want to say pink um but yeah so we have that matching after i got that tattoo with my mother i ended up um going on like a random day where like every friday the 13th usually most of the tattoo places have special deals and i ended up kind of just like going to a like a place because i was working at ulta at this time and this girl that i was friends with that I worked with uh, she was telling me how she always goes to this one certain tattoo place and that they're really really good and all this stuff so I ended up going there for their Friday this the Friday the 13th special deal and I ended up getting this one which I absolutely love um, I think she said that I was the only one who ended up getting this certain design but I love it um so I ended up going in and I got the tattoo by a girl her name is Sydney Oso or Sid Oso I don't know what she goes by but um she is an amazing tattoo artist I love it she is very very good with fine lines and she's just amazing she's a great person to talk to highly 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 recommend her she's also located in jersey um but she's she was it was such a great experience and after i got that tattoo from her i actually got another one specifically just by her because i loved her so much um which brings me to my next one so i have one here hopefully you can see it it's my marilyn manson tattoo because I love Marilyn Manson. Um, he is someone that I could go months without listening to his music, but I always, always come back to. Um, there's just something about him that I find so interesting and enchanting and just, even if somebody were to say, oh, I don't like his music, he is still such an intelligent person. If you watch any single one of his interviews, you can just tell what a smart person he is and how his view on the world is just so different. And I just always feel like it's such a breath of fresh air to hear him speak on a lot of like topics, as well as he's just a very amazing visual performer because he's an artist and I just love his artistry and he does actual like paintings and stuff and like he's he's just somebody that I really admire and even if you like like I said like even if you don't like his music whatever he's still such an interesting person and I just find him fa fascinating honestly um so I really wanted to get something to symbolize like my love for him and I actually really really want to get multiple tattoos um, of different artists that I admire because I'm very very heavy into music and I have a lot of people that I look up to that I really want to like just have with me like forever <laughs> um, I know some of the people that I really really want to get um, tattoos kind of like um, memorializing whatever the fuck you call it but um i would like to do like elton john and prince and aerosmith and corn <laughs> uh i just want to get and queen um those are just all artists who heavily like influence who i am as a person and they have played such a big role in my life and for me, they each like kind of define like a moment for me in my life. And I'm really, I just really want that. Uh, sorry, I kind of went on a ta tangent, but it's something that's important to me that I would really, really like to have one day. Um, but yeah, so 
I got that one by the same girl who did my hand with the eye tattoo. Um, and yeah, she did an amazing job. Which I was just going to get the symbol by itself. And she is like such an artist that she was like, you know what? I really think you should do something more with it. She was like, do you trust me to just kind of like do what I want to do on it? And I was like, well, yeah, of course, whatever. And she ended up doing the like dot work. And it's just really beautiful um i like it a lot so now the next ones i'm gonna say that i do not recommend this i went on amazon and i ordered myself a tattoo kit i practiced on a banana and then i went straight on my skin and so the first one i did was this which i hope it focuses um I don't think it's going to focus, but pretty much it's that symbol and there's a dot in the middle of the circle. So this symbol has multiple meanings to me. So this by itself is actually a symbol that's on one of Marilyn Manson's uh, albums. So that's one meaning. And then with like that, it is the... Uh, symbol for female which obviously I am a female and I identify as that and then when you go like this it is the symbol for Taurus which I am a Taurus and then uh, without the dot in the middle it is the symbol for Mercury which I love Freddie Mercury <laughs> which it's kind of dumb but it does have multiple meanings for me and so I'm very I like that tattoo a lot and I'm very proud of how how decent it came out. I'm not going to say it's good, but it came out pretty decent. The next one that I did on myself was this one, which is just three little dots, which when I went to get um, one of my other tattoos done by a professional, I had them just go over it so that the ink could be a little bit darker. But I really like that one as well. I also did on my ankle. I'm gonna insert pictures because I don't feel like bringing my whole ass ankle up to the camera right now. I did like a sun and when people ask me how many tattoos you have I always have to say like half because um like I call that like my half tattoo because it didn't heal right and like some of the ink came off and like it's kind of like faded. I really need to go back over it but um it's pretty much, it's supposed to be just like a sun. I just wanted it to kind of just remind me to be happy and enjoy life. And there's always the sunny part after everything in life. Like, there's always the sun to look forward to. And then, so I have... Okay, so now the most recent tattoo that I got that I... Okay, so there is a girl that I follow on Instagram who always says oh yeah my guy works at this tattoo shop he's so good he did like a bunch of her tattoos and she's like tatted up so i was like okay she knows the deal she knows the good people to go to so on a whim i kind of just went to the tattoo shop that this guy works at and i asked i was like oh is he working today and they said no and i was like oh well that's really fucking disappointing but I wasn't about to just drive all the way back home so I was like is there anybody available to do a couple tattoos for me and so this one guy started doing it I honestly should have just got up and left because he honestly seemed like he was on drugs or drunk or something it was not sanitary it was very very disgusting so first one he did actually no I think he did this one first which if you could see even there's like parts that are patchy as if he didn't even fully go over it which it's just crazy and like there was a point in which when i was getting tattooed that he had like a drink like i think it was water or like the clear gatorade or something and it literally spilled over the whole like thing that he had that had like the ink and stuff um and then he just literally grabbed that tattoo needle and just started doing it again and like the whole time he was coughing and like um he was like <laughs> like he just like Bleh. i don't know why i even stayed honestly but yeah so this guy also did um this one which 
Um, it also kind of came out patchy, but yeah. Um, and this line in the middle is way too thick. And perhaps maybe one day in the future I'll get it redone. I mean, I don't hate it. I chose it, obviously. Um, and like from afar, it looks alright. But um, I know when I first got it, my fiance was like, what the hell is that? Please tell me that you did that yourself. And I was like, no, I paid for that. He was like, that, uh, yeah. He does not approve of that one. He's just like, that looks terrible. And it's not so much the tattoo itself, it's just the way it was done. Um, that concludes my tattoos. And I hope you either learned something about me, um, got something from my experiences. Um, hopefully you know to choose your tattoo artist carefully. Don't just go in on a whim and expect everything to be all fine and dandy. Because most of the time it's not. Find yourself an artist who's a real artist and make sure that they are doing exactly what you want. <laughs> and make sure that they are not drunk or high or sick or whatever and make sure that they're feeling good as well because obviously they are doing something that's going to be permanent on your body so do your research find a good one and just get something that you actually want and honestly it helps to like sit with an idea of a tattoo for like a while like a lot of my tattoos i've been thinking about for a while and like it though it seems like oh i just went into a tattoo parlor and that was that but i've actually been like thinking about it for a while and like i knew what kind of design i wanted and i would say at least wait on it like a month or two to know that that's something that you absolutely do want because there's been so many times where like I'll be like, oh my god, that's a dope tattoo. I would love to have that. But then like a week later, I'd just be like over it. Yeah, so I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helped you in some way, shape, or form. And I hope that you found this entertaining. Um, toodaloo!